change you want to see in the world? When I was six years old and I started volunteering, I never could have imagined how this quote would guide over a decade of my life. Now, for those of you who are curious, that makes me just 18. And whilst I have a lot to learn, one of my biggest lessons, and what I hope to convey to you, is that it only takes one person, one small, genuine act to make a huge difference. Volunteering makes me happy. It gives me satisfaction to know that I've made a difference in our society, to have helped someone else. I was impressed by a fellow TEDx speaker by the name of Mark Bezos, who we heard earlier, when he said, don't wait until you make your first million to make a difference in somebody else's life. If you have something to give, give it now. Not every day gives us the opportunity to, to save a life, but every day we can affect one. I often hear people discuss volunteering and their desire to be involved, but they struggle with time commitments, the financial aspects, and the stigmas around volunteering. Volunteering, by its definition, is time willingly given for the common good without financial gain. But it's so much more than this simple definition. It can be wonderfully rewarding. A thankless task, a financial burden, or a life-changing endeavor. Regardless, it is a task where what we receive is far greater than what we are able to contribute. Consider the dad who mows his son's soccer team pitch every weekend. The young girl who visits her local retirement village to talk to those who don't have anyone else. The man who goes out in the streets of our cities and feeds those in need. Or maybe it's the local scout group who visit their park every weekend to make sure it's clean and tidy for others. It's not about what we do. It's not about the magnitude or the accolades we receive. Rather, it's about doing something with purpose. Volunteering Queensland estimates that 34% of Australia's adult population, so roughly 5.4 million people, volunteer in some form. The economic value of volunteers is incredible. A conservative estimate of the contributions of volunteers if they occurred in a salary-earning workplace was over $11.6 billion in the last year alone. Yes, you heard right, $11.6 billion in the last year alone. Governments cannot possibly fund what our volunteers are able to contribute. Indeed, if a government had a spare $11.6 billion, it would solve a multitude of problems. But in reality, they don't. And the contributions that volunteers make on an annual basis to both the community and the individual are incredible. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the phrase, money makes the world go round. Well, that's certainly true when we consider how much of an impact these $11.6 billion worth of contributions make. Now, Let's look at volunteering as a purely economic process because that's what it ultimately comes down to, right? Give $5 for this raffle, $20 to build a well in Africa, $2 to buy a sausage for the local Rotary Group, give an hour of your time for this fundraiser, and you get the picture. So often, volunteering is viewed as an obligation, something that can be easily fulfilled by giving a tax-deductible donation or a gift. Now, for those of you who are good with numbers in the room, let me run these by you. You hire five people to work a four-hour shift on a conservative hospitality rate of, say, $16 per hour, and you get them to run a barbecue fundraiser for you. You receive $800, and you're able to donate, to donate $480 worth of profit to your cause. Now, consider the same scenario and these same five individuals, but this time, they're all volunteers. Now, these individuals are still worth $320, but this time, you're able to donate and purchase $800 worth of comfort quilts and two-pack pillow sets for those doing it tough on our streets. 
This translates to 17 lots of $39 quilts and 13 lots of two-pack pillow sets at $10 each, which is valued at $793 of your $800 profit. But now, your donation is priceless. I discovered this economic process at the young age of 11, when I partnered with my local supermarket to run a barbecue fundraiser for those doing it tough on our streets. We managed to raise in the $800 region, and we purchased all of the quilts and blankets for those who needed a warm place to stay during the winter months. Now, these sausage sizzle fundraisers are truly a classic Australian pastime, especially when they occur at a large green hardware store, which for the purpose of this presentation shall remain nameless. Now, when we look at this unnamed building, there's generally a six-month wait to access their resources, because that's the economic value of a sausage sizzle fundraiser. What may seem like a relatively easy, simple Sunday afternoon activity can have a huge impact when we consider how far these resources can stretch and the impact they make on the individuals receiving them. Small acts of volunteering are about creating little seeds of change and they're contributing to projects that make a bigger difference on the overall impact on our community. I imagine some of you may be wondering why I feel the need to address the importance of volunteering when just one act can seemingly generate such a large amount of change. What I'm yet to address is the difficult task of garnering support to feel these amazing initiatives. Now, I've already been volunteering for 12 years of my short life, and I can tell you firsthand that our volunteering sector is frankly composed of older generations, typically individuals in their late 50s to early 70s. So when we consider the lack of younger, able-bodied generations coming up to take their place and the significant economic value of volunteers that will be left behind, we have a huge challenge. Especially when we consider that these younger generations are facing higher living costs and lower amounts of, of disposable income. Furthermore, when we consider how much it is to become a part of an official not-for-profit organisation, like Rotary at $300 or Quota International at $190, it's understandable that younger generations would question why they would volunteer their time, their resources and sacrifice opportunities where they could be being remunerated for their costs and further developing their skills. So what would it take to get a community of willing volunteers of all ages, abilities and backgrounds? If I asked you to list off the top of your head one of the most significant events of 2011, what would your response be? I imagine some of you might have a little bit of a hard time thinking back that far. But for myself and a lot of other Queenslanders, one of the most significant events occurred at the beginning of the year, specifically January. I'm of course referring to the infamous floods. This single event resulted in one of the greatest volunteer efforts in our state's history. An army of 55,000 volunteers came out of the woodwork to support their communities, their neighbours and even those they didn't know. We rallied as a street to sweep out the damaged streets. We rallied as a state to sweep out damaged streets. We've fundraised and spent $440 million on the recovery effort. We cleared 400,000 tonnes of waste and debris from affected areas. And we cleaned over 458 kilometres of stormwater drains. Now, this is an initiative we can all be very proud of. But why does it take a mammoth event for us to be willing to support our communities, those we may not know, and lend a helping hand? There's clearly an innate desire within us to want to help others. So why do we wait for a national campaign or a significant weather event before we act? How many of you use Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, or any other social media? On Facebook alone, as a collective, we spend over 388 million hours scrolling through our Facebook feeds every day. Now, for those of you who enjoy the offerings of Netflix or YouTube, we consume two billion videos every day. 
Now, to put this into perspective, it only took seven million hours to build the Empire State Building. And when we consider how we could have used our time by the time we're done scrolling through our Facebook feeds and getting our daily fill of YouTube videos, we could have built 55 Empire State Buildings every single day. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Volunteering and giving to others doesn't have to be a significant time or financial commitment. It's about finding those little opportunities and those little pockets within your day. It's about finding that genuine passion and drive within yourself. To realize that there is a social need for each of us to volunteer and to step up to the plate to become active, engaged citizens. If you're now thinking, okay, maybe I could give it a go, but you're still concerned about becoming an official member of a not-for-profit organization, committing to all their monthly meetings, attending the events, and of course, the cost of becoming a member, let me tell you there are two types of volunteering, formal and informal. Formal volunteering occurs when you're directly associated with an organization via a membership or a named affiliation. Informal volunteering, which can have just as significant of an impact, generally occurs at the grassroots level. And it allows you to engage with opportunities that you believe in and where you can decide the level of commitment you are willing and able to give. Volunteering doesn't have to be associated with big name, established organizations. Sometimes it's just about finding a person within your community who you can help. You could organize a community social event to create fellowship, volunteer at a soup kitchen, help out backstage at your children's school musical. Any number of things. It doesn't matter what you choose. Doing something small and with the intention of making a difference creates a huge change and then inspires others to do the same. So what am I trying to convey? There is a social need and responsibility for each of us to invest in our communities, to volunteer, and to become part of the overall larger change. There are numerous avenues to be explored and ways to be involved. Volunteering is about discovering your niche, your passion, and following through when able. What would it take for you to act? What's stopping you from realizing the change that you can be in the world and helping to realize the vision that small acts of volunteering do create large waves of change? In the words of the Dalai Lama, just as ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into water, the actions of individuals can have far-reaching effects too.